Hi, it's Rebecca Wyatt here, and I'm going to walk you through a really quick, super easy tutorial on how to use the adjustment brush that's located within the panel here in Lightroom in the gradient and radial filter. So each of those filters has a brush that you can use to add or subtract from the filter that you've applied. In these examples, I'm going to use them to subtract, but keep in mind that at any time, instead of erasing from the filter, you can always um, darken it in certain areas or add to it in a location that it didn't happen to go with the brush. Um, so in this image, which I used in the tutorial, I'm going to do a pretty quick edit. I've already edited it with a quick preset, but I want to darken the sky. So I'm going to take, let me make sure that everything has been removed. I'm going to take my gradient filter here and I'm just going to pull it down and it's on a darkening brush here. And I really want to make that sky pop, but I don't like what it's done to her hair. So what I want to do is take the brush staying on that same mask and you can see where it's been applied with the green here and I'm going to take the erase brush or I can either click erase or I can press the option button on my Mac keyboard and that will allow me I want to erase yes to erase those portions of the filter where I don't want the effects applied and so this ultimately makes the mask work a lot more like a Photoshop mask so I can really be precise about where I am applying my mask. And you can really um, be careful and refine with a lower flow as you get closer to the edges if that's important to your image. For purposes right now, I'm just gonna show you how I did that. And then you can tweak your image, um, but I've been able to apply the gradient to the sky and not her hair and her body much more quickly and much more evenly than had I simply used a brush and painted on just those areas where I wanted to do it. Now let's say, just for demonstration's sake, I wanted to add the effect to, to her shirt and just not her hair after I took it off. I can always click a brush and I'll go into green so you can see where I'm applying it. I have a really small brush here. And I can just paint that effect back on. I'll do it with a heavier flow so you can really see. So if I decided I wanted it there, I can paint it there. Say that I didn't pull the gradient filter all the way down there, but there's a spot over here I want to apply it. You can always use this brush. I rarely use it for that reason unless I've erased too much, um, but I think the erase function is really awesome um, and makes something like that really simple and easy. So an example I just wanted to show you of how I use it um, with the radial filters, um, which I use often. Um, this is my final edit of this image, and I will show you this is without the radial filters. And so in this instance, I really use the filters to make them pop and add a vignette and just control the lighting in the image so that it makes for a much stronger image. And I'll show you the two filters that I use. So this filter here is a darkening mask. Um, I decreased the exposure. I took out the highlights, um, added teeny little blacks. Um, so that's about what I did here. And so, but you can see when I applied the mask, it would have applied it in a circle, leaving the center um, with less effect and the effect gets darker going out as the green gets darker. Um, but I really didn't want the effects on them. And so I used the brush and the erase um, to really get it off them. Oh, must not have gotten it all off, but there. So you can see it takes that darkening because I want to brighten them. I don't want to darken them. Um, and that's really quick. And then the other mask here um, was a brightening mask. And you can see here um, that I removed some of the effects from down here in the grass where I wanted to keep that contrast. And actually, I probably should have removed it from here as well. Um, but you can see um, the difference that those filters make. And that was really quick to do as opposed to 
painting on um, and trying to keep my brush strokes an even depth and getting all the right spots. It really does take seconds. Um, so I hope you enjoy this um, and thanks for watching.